Hey, it's Zach from Dystopian Dance Party, and uh, we're talking about another record store today. Last month was my birthday, uh, and my girlfriend, Kia, and I, to celebrate my birthday, we went to a new record store that neither of us had been to before. Uh, this was in um, Falls Church, Virginia. It's a place called CD Cellar, and once again, the Northern Virginia suburbs have some surprisingly good vinyl available if you know where to look. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the store and then I'm going to show you some of the things that we purchased. So uh, yeah, let's go to the record store. So the name of the store is CD Cellar, but they have a lot of records too. You can see here's Frank at the door and they have a lot of Zappa on vinyl, at least when I was there including a couple records I didn't know about. Here's an album by San Quentin's First Lady, produced by Merle Haggard. And uh, we've got this kind of distressing blues album, whatever this is. And of course, The Whispers, favorite of mine, Jerry Curl June classic. Uh, that Milli Vanilli record, I actually ended up giving to another guy who wanted it more than me. It was a dollar, though, and it was almost mine. And uh, now if you wait for it, we've got somebody you might recognize, RJ's latest arrival. Who knew there were two albums? Got some Lakeside, Mandrill, R. Kelly, uh, whatever this is, Michael Lovesmith, George Clinton. Had a lot of Prince-related records, a couple by the time there, Vanity. Her best album, her not best single. They had Screams of Passion by The Family. This promo version of America by Prince. Andre Simone's Dance Electric. Morris Day, The Oak Tree. And of course, here we have Andre Simone's version of Vanity Six, The Girls. So yeah, this was kind of a uh, this was kind of a classic rock oriented trip for me. Um, first of all, picked up Rod Stewart's Every Picture Tells a Story. And before you laugh, I'm going to say what I say to everyone. Rod Stewart was not always whack. He used to be really, really good. This is when he was still with the faces. The faces are on this record. Uh, there's, ooh, it looks like the... The gatefold is <laughs> the gatefold came apart, but there's some uh, there's some great art here. This is the one with Maggie May and Reason to Believe and uh, and uh, I know I'm losing you. It's a good fucking album, so so shut up. Next up, we've got uh, Grand Funk. Grand Funk Railroad, closer to home. Um, I'm from Michigan, as you may or may not know, so Grand Funk are always uh, sort of close to my heart. As you can see, here they are, I'm just rocking on stage. Uh, Mark Farner has a shirt on. That's a that's a, a rare a rare occasion, and uh, this is the one with "Sin's a Good Man's Brother" on it, and that is um, one of the coolest guitar parts of all time. So, got to get that. It was three dollars, and it used to belong to um, it used to belong to Jeff. I don't know who Jeff is, but um, thanks, Jeff. You've got you've got good taste in uh, in Michigan rock. Also picked up Spirit, Twelve Dreams of Doctor Sardonicus. Uh, this is one Spirit's been in the news recently for. Um, uh, the estate of Randy California suing Led Zeppelin for Stairway to Heaven. I don't know anything about that, but I do know that uh, this is a great album. It's got um, Nature's Way on it, Animal Zoo, Mr. Skin. It's just some good, like, 70s, uh, early 70s, kind of like, um, kind of post-psychedelia. And um, I'm very glad to have it in my collection. Then, uh, kind of shifting gears a little bit, one thing you probably know is from the video that I talked about is that um, CD Seller has a surprisingly great, like, at least from my perspective as a fan of 80s R&B, they have a very nice selection. So I had to pick up Sheila E, The Glamorous Life. I think this was like, this was like $5 and, um, and it's great. It's her first album, 
Uh, it's one of those Ghost Prince productions where he wrote and, uh, and produced pretty much everything. So if you like mid-80s Prince and Timbales, this is, this is the record for you. Um, and then my last pickup here was, I'm very happy about this one, Booty's Rubber Band Body Slam 12 inch. Uh, this, is, this, this song is so good. Um, this is this is Booty Collins goes Jerry Curl. Um, I've written about it for Jerry Curl June last this last summer, and um, this will definitely be in heavy rotation. And just look at this weird like like punk rock He Man kind of aesthetic that they had going on. I don't know what that's about. It's very early '80s. Um, it's a great record. A couple things Kia picked up too that I'm gonna go ahead and present um, to, to fill out my own video. Um, plus, you know, she lives in my house, so I, I'll be able to listen to her music. Um, of course, everyone needs Songs in the Key of Life. Uh, I think Callie has my copy of Songs in the Key of Life, so this is good. Um, seems to be in good shape. Um, and of course, it's just a great album. Uh, I believe it has that, um, I believe it has that bonus seven inch there. yeah it's not in there no it does not have the bonus seven inch so kia got screwed um then finally this was a weird one yeezus on vinyl which as you may or may not know yeezus was not pressed on vinyl not officially at least i think she looked it up this was some weird like German bootleg pressing. Um, it's a little lazy to be honest because like the obvious move would be to just package it in a clear uh, in, a, in a clear like bag and just have the record visible and have the little red tab. They instead decided to just blow up the CD cover art so it looks like a giant CD. I don't know what that's about but um, it's a weird kind of curio to have in the house um, a bootleg uh, Yeezus that never actually came out. Show the, show the vinyl. And maybe, um, it's, it's on clear vinyl too. So that's pretty cool. It's not good, this is not good music that put this out, but. <laughs> so yeah, um, maybe someday we'll find the bootleg Life of, pa um, Life of Pablo, yeah. Um, so that's it. Didn't buy quite as much as last time. Uh, we are, you know, we, we have to, we have to like eat and stuff. So, uh, but it was a, it was a great visit. If you're ever in Falls Church, for whatever reason you might be in Falls Church, uh, definitely check out CD Cellar. It was a, it was a good time. Great store. We'll be back. <laughs>